Hi guys, welcome to Lights, Camera, Conversation. Today you're joined with me, Byron, and this is Maddie. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to be asking each other some random questions. It could be based on our work, but it could also be based on random things. Anything could happen. So, shall we get straight in? So, Maddie, do you want to start asking your question first? I think? Yeah, so, yeah. well, I'll ask the first one that's at the top of my list. We'll just start off like that. So, if you could have worked on any film that has been released, what would it be? Ooh, that's actually really hard because oh, I've been recently watching all the new Star Wars. So, if you're going to ask me now, I don't know, probably one of the original Star Wars because I'd love to meet like all the cast, all the crew. I think that would be really cool, but it was a long time ago, wasn't it? So. Well, it would be cool to see how they shot a sci-fi film that long ago, I think. Yeah. But I think oh, it yeah. might, might even be more interesting to see like how they edit it and like and that kind of stuff, because obviously that must be so different, like editing a sci-fi film now to how it was back then. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I mean, you said work on it, but I don't know what role I'd like, because obviously yeah. you're not going to pick direct in it, because you you want to meet all the crew. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'd like to obviously camera operate it. The gaffer. The gaffer. What is a gaffer, Maddie? Um, is that just someone who like helps out? And they do they put like the markers down. No, a gaffer is basically the lighting technician. Okay, well, I got so they do one. all the lights and stuff. And that then that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a gaffer, it's a spark. Right. Okay. So you probably know what a spark is. A gaffer is like the head. Right, okay. Of the yeah, lighting. It. It's like a DOP. Okay. You know what a DOP is, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Director of photography. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, Star Wars is probably one of my, my biggest kind of one I've worked on. However, just a little, little side way. I'd also work on Hot Fuzz because I've really wanted to meet Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. And obviously, I'd like to work alongside Edgar Wright, which, as everybody probably knows by now, is my favourite film. So... Yeah, Star Wars, because it'd be really cool to see, but also Hot Fuzz. Shall I ask you one now? Yeah. What, what shall we ask you? Right. Um, all right, we'll start off a bit fun at the minute. What's the worst film you have ever seen? I don't know if I have, like, a worst film I've ever seen. There are films that obviously, like, like nowadays on Netflix that you put on, and then after, like, two minutes, you're like, this is not a film I want to watch. Um, I mean, most of them, to be honest, on Netflix. They're not good. Um, but I, I can't think of one in particular, like, recently that I've watched. Um, I suppose the, like, good films kind of stick with you more, don't they? Yeah, I mean... forget about the bad ones. If you go to me, I'd say any kind of new Christmas film. I'm sick of watching the same rom-coms. Oh, no, but I really liked, um, the new Christmas film that came out this year. Was it called Candy Cane Lane or something? That was really cute. I just don't watch them anymore. You can't beat the traditional, like, elf. I love Actually. Love Actually is a great one, like Jingle All The Way. Going but you it. were saying earlier what your worst film was. What did I say? Um, Madagascar. It's, no. It's got Madagascar. No, it's not. It was, um... I don't know. What, what was it called? It? Something with hot dogs in it. Oh, <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> Sausage Party. I watched it a long time ago, and oh, it's awful. It's got to be the worst film ever invented. I mean, I've not watched it recently. I watched it as, like, a 15-year-old. And... It's just, it's one of those films that you watch and you're like, what have I just watched? Yeah. Um, it does look, like, the the clips I've seen from it look very strange. Do you know what it is? It, it's basically the title, just the title, Sausage Party. And then mm. just imagine in your head, don't even think about it, imagine it, and that's what the film is about, yeah. basically. If you could take one person with you to Desert Island, who would you oh, take? You beat me to Desert Island questions. It could be anyone, alive or dead. Who would I take? Like. Yeah. Well, in case... Um, oh, I don't know, actually. <sighs> Do you know what? Uh, this is going to be really controversial, but I think I'd need to take, like, Louis Capaldi. How is he going to be useful on a desert right. island? Hear me out, right. So you're on a, des on a desert island. You'd, you'd normally pick, like, Bear Grylls. Right? You think That's of, who I would pick. You think yeah. of survival, and you think, yeah, Bear Grylls... But, right, there's nothing worse than being on a desert island and not having anything to do. So, if I was allowed to take the person and they're allowed, like, an item, Louis Capaldi and his guitar, can you imagine just, like, having your own concert non-stop? That you're going to die after the first day. <sighs> yeah, but at least you go away while listening to Louis Capaldi. Okay, can you imagine, no. like, someone you loved and you just... Are you doing a little rendition of this? <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> I don't know, I thought about this a lot and I'd... I'd definitely take, like, a pop star because 
Yeah, Bear Grylls would, would be good, but if you're stuck on this desert island, yeah. you're not going to be able to escape it, are you? So you might as well enjoy the last yeah, of your maybe. time on this desert island. But like Bear Grylls might just like eat you as well. He might be like, this is survival, I'm just going to eat you. Yeah. And then you'll be dead anyway. Well, yeah, can you imagine that? Like, yeah. being chased by Bear Grylls and instead of... And he make you eat your wee and things as well. He makes well, you yeah. like, drink your wee. But I wouldn't want to do that. You'd have to do that in, in like a desert island anyway. But the sea is right that I'd rather drink salt water. You'd die, I think. Well, you'd die anyway. <laughs> Would you die if you, if you just drank a bunch of salt water? I don't know. But um, while we're on Desert Island then, so Lewis Capaldi would be mine, and where's my des Desert Island question? It was like, if you got stuck on a Desert Island, what three things okay. would you take? Bearing in mind, you, like, there's a few rules to this. You can't okay. escape the Desert Island. Okay. You're there for life. Yeah. And if you take, like, if you pick, like, a food, you've got unlimited food, that, food for that, for life. So, like, okay. if you pick chicken nuggets, you've got chicken nuggets for life. Right, okay. So what three things would you have? This is tricky. Pizza. Cooked pizza. Okay. Because, you know, you need to eat some pizza before you die yeah, on a desert yeah, island. Yeah. Um, maybe like a blow up mattress or something so that at least I'm a bit comfy. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then the last one's tricky. Um, okay, yeah, some like clean drinking water or maybe some diet coke do you know what that was my trick question i was like i want to say so you want to take water yeah i would take yeah. water but i'd or take something some, to drink i'd take something because if i've got unlimited of that stuff i'd take like i don't know like some sort of drink to help me so like lucasaid because it's got loads of sugar this in it this is an ad by the way for lucasaid <laughs> It's not an ad. <laughs> but, like, I'd say... You know what I mean? I'd, I'd take something like that. Or, like, yeah, like Diet Coke. Yeah, yeah. Just something to keep me going. Yeah. Because, yeah, if you have pizza and Diet Coke all day, you're kind of... You're going to last a long time, aren't you? Well... <laughs> are you? <laughs> what, a blow-up mattress? Yeah, I don't want to, like, sleep on, like... Like, a solid ground. Would you not take a phone? No, because what's the point? If you don't have si you probably won't have signal in Desert Island. And also, a phone will run out of charge after like a day, so. Yeah, I guess if you can only have three things, yeah, I guess you're looking at food and, and yeah. blow up mattress. Seems I'm sure you can just go popular. swimming every day and that will be entertainment, you know. I'd still say at Lewis Capaldi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go on, you can answer right, that question. Okay. What is the most useful skill you have? Um, oh, okay. I don't know. Um, Skills, oh, as in work related or anything, anything. anything. I'm really good at Minecraft. <laughs> that will help you on the design. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, my my best skill is probably something to do with work because it's what I've grown up doing. So I mean, making films. I'd say physically using a camera is is my best skill because I go to someone I say oh, do you want to make a film with me? And they're like, oh, it's really easy to make it. And yeah, it's all right getting your phone out and everything, but they don't know anything to do with settings, you know, exposure, all like that. So, I mean, being able to literally say, use this f-stop, use this ISO, use this shutter, put that in slow motion, that's probably my favourite skill because other people don't know it. I, know, I could say something like, um, I don't know, I could say something that everybody knows and, and everybody will know it, so yeah. I think that's quite fun. Um, how does marketing link with video production? Um, well, I think that is probably like the closest link out of like any industry I could think of really because, well, I studied film at uni, so that's how I got into marketing. So I'd say there's already like quite a close link there. You know, most people use video for marketing, whether that's like an ad, a campaign, like any kind of video, even like a YouTube video, that's marketing, isn't it? Because you're marketing like yourself or your company or whatever. Mm. Um, and obviously you kind of need marketing to go along with your video. Otherwise it like, no one will see it, will they? So I suppose like, yeah, even in cinema, like you have to market your film. I mean, we're in a room right now filled with like film posters, which is part mm -hmm. of marketing. So I suppose that links, that's a very close link, yeah. Yeah, good thoughts. Sneak that in there. Go on, it's your, go on, your okay. next one. 
If you could be a character in Star Wars, who oh. would you be and why? Ah, oh, how many can I have? One. <laughs> you see, right, normal, I mean, people will always go with, like, Anakin Skywalker, like, the most epic character. You know, he, he, he goes through so many different stages of, of his life where he's, he's a Jedi, well, no, he's, he's young, and then he's a Jedi, and he gets trained, and then he turns to the dark side, and he, he goes through so many different emotions that I think everyone would pick Anakin Skywalker. So would I. But I'm, I've always got a very soft spot for Chewbacca. Because he's just cool, isn't he? He's got his little crossbow and he's, he's just roaming around everywhere he goes. Obviously, he starts off by going up where, where's he from? Kashyyyk, is it? I learned that the other day. He's from Kashyyyk and then he meets Yoda and he hangs around with Yoda for a bit. Um, but, like, does everyone understand him? No. Because so, then wouldn't that be an issue, like you can talk to everybody? No, so here's the thing. He then goes to Han Solo, who understands him. Obviously Yoda understands him as well. But I think that makes you special. Can only Jedis understand him? No. Is that like a, is that not like a superpower of a Jedi that you can just speak all the languages? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I mean, You're, you're clearly not a Star Wars, Wars fan, fan, are you? Um, <laughs> but Han Solo's not a Jedi. And he understands oh, him. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. So other people can understand him. Um, and I just feel like he's cool, you know, he, he, spoiler alert, he's not dead, he do not die in any of the Star Wars. He's there from like the beginning to the end, obviously he's not in the in the prequels, but we, we ignore that. What about those little bears instead? What are they called? Ewoks. Ewoks. I won't be an Ewok. Would you not want to be an Ewok? And they've got skill as well. They've got you know their what? little like, bow and arrows. That would be cute. Maybe that's what I would be. I watched Return of the Jedi yesterday, which is where the Ewoks are, and they're so annoying. They just are. These little, cute. these little creatures that just come with the bow and arrows. You know, Chewbacca. He's got a really cool noise as well that he makes. Are you gonna remake the noise right now? <laughs> that was quite good. <laughs> Been practicing quite a lot. If you haven't watched our Star Wars quiz from a few weeks ago, that'll be linked below. As yeah, well. we do a lot of impressions. You can, you there. can watch Byron lose in that. Um, <laughs> would you just give away who loses? <laughs> It, it was very tight. I mean, I should have won that, personally. Mm. I should have got Kashyyyk. I said Kashyyyak or something like that. Yeah, it was close. Yeah. But yeah, Chewbacca or Anakin Skywalker. There's just... I'd be everyone. I mean, apart from, obviously, Jar Jar Binks. Won't be him. Okay. Um, oh, here's an interesting one, right? This is, this is not related to it, but... What's something you really enjoy that many others don't? So it's a very controversial thing that you enjoy. And you can't say Madagascar. Well, the only thing I can think of is like going to the gym, but not not that not everyone enjoys that. But I think not everyone enjoys like having to go to the gym. Whereas I enjoy the like routine of like, I finish work, I go to the gym, I go home, and like I enjoy knowing that that's my day and that's gonna happen. Yeah, I'll give you that because you finish at what half four and then you go straight to the gym. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I couldn't every day I just think. I mean, I can't wait to get home. Like, yeah, I can't imagine you going to the gym. <laughs> no, like I used to do gym like once, like three times a week, and I I just get too tired. So <clears throat> I guess that is quite controversial for a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, but like I enjoy being in the gym as well. So yeah, like that's something. But I know obviously lots of people enjoy that, but lots of people don't actually enjoy like having to go. Well, we've all been in the office, haven't we? And then we all give up on it straight away. Like Tom, he's been to the gym. Before I've been Lottie. Lottie's obviously going quite a lot, but you go every day, and I yeah, yeah. But it's good that you enjoy it. Um. Okay. This is a bit random, but what is your dream car? It is really random, and I've got a really cool backstory. Well, it's not really cool. I'm hyped up now. But basically, um, when I was a bit younger, I watched a YouTuber called Roman Atwood. Don't know if any of you heard of him, but basically, he 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 used to buy Jeeps, which I used to love. And he bought a Nissan GTR in red. Ever since I was brought up with that, I was about what, maybe even 13, 14, I've always wanted a Nissan GTR. And I've every time I, I like I get older and everyone asks me that, it's always a Nissan GTR. So yeah. Why is why, how did you even get that question? Well, you mentioned something about your car earlier, and I was like, oh, I'll ask a question about your car then. Yeah, I've got an Audi at the minute. If anybody wants to get me a Nissan GTR. Feel free. <laughs> always wanted one. It's because he always makes fun of my car as well. So. What have you got, Maddie? Have a Fiat you... 500. A Fiat 500. 
How, how many times has your Fiat 500 broken down this year, Maddie? Quite a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> we won't talk about that one. Ah, uh, what other question have I got that you'll enjoy? So got one. Oh, I've got the same one. If you could be in a movie, what genre would it be? And what type of character would you play? Maybe a movie like, either like Harry Potter or Avatar or something. So like a, a sci-fi or adventure? But like a fantasy movie. All right. Just yeah. because it would be cool. So like, if you were in Harry Potter, then you could have like magic. Yeah. And if you're in Avatar, then like you look really cool, don't you? So what sort of character would you play in? Like, would you play like a, a main character, like Harry Potter? Or would you play like no, Hermione? No, I'd be like, no, I'd be like just one of the extras because then I don't have to see any fighting. But oh. I still get to like learn magic. See, that's quite controversial. A lot of people would say, I want to be Harry Potter. But so. I don't know, because then if I was Harry Potter, then I might not have made it, you know, until the last bit. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I might have died halfway through fighting Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to be Harry Potter or so Hermione. You, so you wouldn't be Voldemort then? You wouldn't be the evil character? Mm, no, probably because no, he dies at the end. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. You need to put a big spoiler alert. Oops. <laughs> right, well, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I'll ask you one last question. Oh, okay. Um, okay, if you didn't work in video production, what would you do? Um, that's a very hard question. I mean, video production, that, that could be anything like camera work, being a director, so it, it takes a quite a lot of stuff, but um, I would love to be some kind of holiday post like whether it's a pilot whether it's um like an entertainer abroad like around the pool um something like that just something it's obviously not in video production but it's something to do with holidays and abroad and i've always wanted to work in disney so working with everyone in a bar meeting people it's all kind of standard jobs really but i used to work in a bar and i loved i loved serving people and and talking to people so anything kind of on holiday, specifically in Disney, serving fish and chips in England, in Epcot. That one's for anyone specific. But yeah, anything like that um, would be good. Mm -hmm. What would yours be? What would you want to do? Because you've always... Well, yeah, I was trying to think about this earlier. Well, obviously I, d I studied film at uni, so I did want to go into video production at one point. I suppose I am in it as I work for a video production company, but I don't actually do the videos. So I think if I was better at like the technical side than that, but otherwise like maybe be like a singer or like, um, yeah, like when I was growing up, I wanted to be like an actress or a singer or something. What's so the best thing like, you can sing? Um, if I were a boy, Beyonce. Go on then. That's my little, karaoke song. Let's have a little karaoke. No, we're not singing it now. You can join <laughs> us on one of our socials at karaoke <laughs> to hear me sing. <laughs> That's an interesting one, if I was a boy. Right, I'll ask you one final question then for you. Um, sorry, it's coming to an end, but it's all got to come to an end at one point. All right, here's a, here's a little funny one then. Describe your ideal office pet or mascot and why you choose it. Well, yeah, I was thinking about this one earlier and I was going to say hamster because obviously like, it's small and it could just live in an office, but then it only comes out at night, so I think it would be you wouldn't see it in the day. So it'd be hard to look after. And I have a kitten at the moment, so maybe a kitten. So then you can just kind of play with it. And then it will just like sleep on you. And then it was cute. And then you can just like, you know, bring lots of happiness to the office with a little kitten. You see, I get called a sloth a lot. I don't know why, it's quite annoying sometimes. Do you have a sloth in the office? I would have a sloth. Like I would have like a tree in the corner <laughs> and just put him in there. Because think about it, right? They can cuddle you, so if you're really, if you like, okay. you're feeling a bit, oh, I'm bored. You can go play with it. You can cuddle it. Um, they walk really slow, so they're not going to escape. It's different. <laughs> like, can you imagine bringing like a client in, and they you're see like, a, I've sloth. Got a sloth? Like, if they see a cat, they're like, oh yeah, it's a cat, whatever. Like, oh yeah, stroke it. I still think a cat in the office is quite rude. Yeah, I've not seen a cat in an office before. Imagine saying, we've got a pet sloth. Yeah. What would you call the sloth though? Well, it's your sloth, so you have to name it. Maybe, um... I would probably do it Sid. Like, you just got to one here. Or Silly. Silly the Sloth. Silly? Yeah, that's a cute name for a sloth. I'm just thinking, I'm looking around the poster, I'm going to point there. I would call it... 
The Imitation Game. <laughs> Bit interesting there, wouldn't it? What about Bill? Kill Bill. Bill Kill himself. Bill. What else? Oh, we've got Joker. Joker's quite good. This is how we come up with most of our content, by the way. We just we look at the posters and we, we think lethal weapon, right? What can we talk about? Right? <laughs> right. No, I think that's been it, ain't it, really, Maddie? Unless you've got any more funky questions for me. That's alright for now. Good. I've got a question for the audience. Okay. Whoever's watching this. Um, what is your favourite film? Please put it in the comments or anywhere on social media and we'll find out. But yeah, for now guys, that's been pretty much everything and we hope you join us on our next podcast wherever and whenever it will be. For now, see you later. Bye. Bye.